Namaste guys, welcome to my channel, it's me, I'm going to take me out off, I don't never take me out off when I do a read, but I'm going to, I've just got in, I normally do a read when I get in, if you haven't been here before, I'm Kerry, and this is Laid Out Bear, I'm a psychic, intuitive, seer, chosen one, I'm really in touch with the divine, I've had an awakening, yeah, three years ago, and um, I basically got guided on it by God, and my angels to help you through this because I've been through the same thing as you. So um, yeah, if you haven't seen me before, I'm very straight. I'm very um, like it's called laid out there for a reason. If I do offend you, I don't mean to, okay? Because my angels, you'll see orbs and all that in it all the time. Things move. My angels do get in me sometimes. So if I tell you off or stop getting like that, it's because your angels are in me to tell you, okay? And I don't mean to. Sometimes when I finish a read, I don't even remember what I've said, okay? So bear with me, all right? I'm not your usual tarot reads. I'm not fluffy, yeah? But it's the way I like people to read to me. So it's the way I am with you. I'm like Marmite. You either like me or you don't. If I aggravate you in any way, move on. Don't leave me no nasty comments because you'll get bad karma, all right? Because I am chosen. So just, like I said, I'm Marmite, yeah? I, you, you'll just like me or not. That's the way it is. So I'm in the UK, as you can tell by my accent. Oi, oi, savaloi. Cock your leg and wink your eye. Right, so I am very blunt, all right? It is karma here, but not all the time. Um, if you didn't see me yesterday, I had a fight yesterday because someone attacked me on my estate and I ended up punching her head in. So I have broken my finger. Um, well, I don't know if I broke, I think I fractured it. I've got to go to hospital, but I live in a village. I live in the New Forest, so I can't really get to the hospital because my ex has smashed my car up. So I might not be able to shuffle too well, but I'll try the best I can, okay? Because you can see it's swollen this morning really bad, look. And it won't swell any more than it has, but it was worth it to tell a bitch to do one. Told you before, if you're healing, you can still tell a bitch to do one. I had a message last night that my angel told me that it was my ex that got her to jump me. So I had a feeling when I was talking to you yesterday, I thought, I wonder if that was, um, he set me up. So if he was in there watching her jump me, well, she got more than she bargained for, so don't mess with me, seriously. But um, yeah, so I'll get that out of the way, if you didn't see yesterday. Flowers are for you, and I got them for my ancestors as well. Each one is for my grandparents, and my, just special people that were in my life, yeah? And my mum that died, and my dad. And um, yeah, so these are for you as well, and then for my ancestors, okay? I'm going really cold, because I always buy my ancestors flowers on a Saturday, and I cook them a dinner on a Sunday. And you can do the same. If you're cooking a roast dinner, just say to your ancestors, ancestors, this dinner's for you, help yourself. And then you give them permission to taste the food while you're eating it, and they taste it as well. Lay a place at the table. It's not crazy, mate. They're around you all the time. But I do this. Every Sunday I do dinner for my ancestors. And every Saturday I buy flowers. And it's just say thank you because they're doing a lot of work for you in the other realms, all right? And down there as well. All right? And you are highly protected, guys, okay? So, let's crack on. I don't do joss sticks. I don't do candles. No need for it. All this fucking shit ain't going to do nothing for you. And it ain't going to bless your house. All it's going to do is make the room smell nice. So, if you're saging at home, then that's for you. Tarot readers are saging, and it ain't for you. You've got to do your own saging. Sage isn't going to go through the, the camera. These tarot readers, mate, I tell you, they all copy each other. So that's why you probably find they're all the same, like, because they copy. I don't copy no one. I'm unique, and I do things my own way. Sometimes I get interruptions. Sometimes I might have a little dance. Depends how I feel. <laughs> Seriously. And the dogs will interrupt me, okay? I've got an XL bully, and I've got a staff. They will come and interrupt me because my angel's getting them to give us messages as well. So, I make my own angel cards and I'm going to see what's happening today. I had a download this morning. I did post it on the community board. There's been a death. There has. There's been a death. Because the sun's out today. It's a beautiful day. And last night was all stormy and raining. I'm going cold. I'm going really cold, guys. So, I think either... Yeah, oh God, I'm going really cold. I think it's the karmic. I don't call your exes divine masculine because they're not. They're not divine masculine. Divine masculine's on his way, mate. This is an idiot, right? Who you're dealing with? So I call them the karmics. They are just the karmics, okay? So divine masculine. If I say that, it ain't. It's not them. So yeah, I feel it's the divine masculine's karmic that's probably either died or killed someone. Like it might have run someone over, or they might have got done. Because God will do this if you can't get, like, you want to get karma, God will know another person who's walking along the road that's probably a 
wanker. And he'll think, well, this wanker here needs karma, so I'll get him to knock him off his bike. So they both get boomed together. That's how it works. So when people get run over and you go, oh my God, they got run over, they were so young, well, they probably had bad karma. Probably done something you didn't know about. So God will, God will lace your drugs, mate. They will, God will make things happen, so you will just be taken out. So I had a download this morning. So I think there has been a death somewhere, or drink driving, I just heard. So I don't know, but you'll know, or you might not know. Right, let's get on with this. I've got loads of cards now. And I just literally shuffle them and see what happens, okay? Yeah, hold your babies and squeeze them tight, okay, if you've got kids. That's dying to come out, that was. Yeah, things at the moment. Oh, I'm going to sick. I'll get real good feelings. Okay? I've been feeling sick this morning as well. Things for them are going really slow now. They're going to feel like a tortoise because they tried to get you to give up on yourself. That's why. And everyone is now aware of what's happened to you. Praise the Lord. About time. And they are aware. I'm goosing all over, guys. I am. I'm goosing. I was told to come on here because I've just come in. I weren't ready to do a video today. You can tell I ain't got my eyes on properly. Right, look. Everyone. <laughs> it's out, babes. It's out. Everyone knows. Everyone that was against you. Everyone that believed these Muppets, yeah, or Muppet. Dogs barking. All right, it's confirmation. Everybody is now aware, and they're all talking about it, all right? Don't worry, it's all out now. This is what you wanted, I feel, all right? Because they tried to give, get you to give up on yourself, okay? So, you, my little friend, are going to get a pay raise now, because if they're getting bad karma, God, I am tingling all over. I love this feeling, angels. Keep this on me. I'm feeling so happy, so, like, loving and warm, and I'm tingling all over. If you're feeling the same, you're resonating with me, yeah? You are getting a pay... Oh, I'm so buzzing. You're getting a pay raise soon, all right? Do you know why? Because they drugged or poisoned you, and they did. And I feel that this is what everybody's now talking about, right? And they cannot believe that they tried to make you give up on yourself. It's all coming out. It is all coming out. Whether you have spoke about it or, yeah, I'm itching. Whether you spoke about it or someone else has grasped them up, whatever. It will come out in a minute. I'll just, this is early days on my read. So give me a chance to settle in because sometimes it takes me a while, right? So anyway, you are embracing the new you. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, bet you look sexy, mate. I bet you look gorgeous. I feel you look gorgeous, man or woman, okay? Yeah, you're embracing the new you. Okay, hold your babies tight. God's timing's impeccable, isn't it? Yeah. Listen, I know you've waited a long time, okay? But you have to. It's like when you plant a seed, all right, and you wait for it to grow. You've got to wait for it to grow. So when you planted this prayer to God, yeah, what happened or what you wanted to be done to these people or whatever you didn't, you have to wait because it has to grow. God will do it like planting a plant. So you've got to wait for it, okay? And uh, your waiting's nearly over, all right? Because God's timing is impeccable, and it is, all right? And the reason he done that because he wanted you to embrace the new you. He wanted you to get used to yourself, get more, oh, I'm itching, get more confident, okay? No, it's all right. Because everyone's talking now about what's happening. So... The universe kept you alive, all right? I don't like this. Someone, I feel like crying, all right? I do feel you, I'm an empath, okay? I've got your angels here, okay? I'm not gonna cry, I'm gonna try not to, all right? But I do get emotional sometimes, just go with me, all right? And you'll probably get emotional too. Um, someone poisoned and drugged you, I don't know if you know or not, and um, I feel you was really alone during this, and I do, and I am sorry for this, right? And whatever happened to you, the universe kept you alive. Because they protect you, all right? Because this fucking arsehole rejected you, all right? And they did. Now, this person might have tried to nearly turn you into a serial killer. Because when you found out what they did, I think you really wasn't happy about this. And it probably could have turned you to do this, but you gave it to God. Which... I think some of you are not stupid as you these karmics think you are. I think you could take a bitch out if you wanted to, if you didn't wasn't so religious. But you chose to let the universe deal with it rather than you, which is well done you, because it's really hard to do that when you want to knock a bitch out for what they do to you. And I can imagine you wasn't a pushover before all this when they took all your um, stuff away from you, all right? So the universe kept you alive because they rejected you so they protected you. Rejection 
is protection. All right, guys? I'm really sorry about this. If it triggers you, just move on, all right? I feel like if you look at all these people, you're about to hand yourself in. I really do. But it's all right, because you're doing it right this time. And that's why universe is looking after you because you did it right this time this was the right thing to do not to take revenge which i know you didn't i know you wanted to oh, of course you did don't make out you didn't because i did i wanted to i nearly went over to max a few times to take him out but and i could have done as well but i didn't because i handed it over to the universe like you i'm collective like you all right you worked harder and smarter than these idiots yeah and you're doing it right this time and you did it right this time Okay, because you have changed a lot. I can feel you've changed a lot. Right. Now, you're standing up for yourself. And they don't like it. Oh, well, you've got to stand up for something as you'll fall for this shit again. Which you won't. You won't fall for anything again. Because now, you're, you've got over this battle, yeah? And 99% of this battle, I'm tingling. I'm tingling. Right, 99, this is confirmation. I am covered. You might see orbs, okay? Because I feel like someone's around me, all right? I've got a breeze here. Someone's around me here. Come through, angels, if you're here. Because this is for one of you, okay? 99% of the battle for you was getting yourself in the right state of mind. Because this person or people actually made you nearly lose your mind. All right? Mm. And I feel that you lost your mind that much that you even found it hard to squeeze your babies and even look after your babies. Well, listen, look in that mirror and you tell yourself, right? I feel like crying again, right? You tell yourself, right? I am beautiful, and you are. No matter what these people told you, you are fucking amazing. And I don't care, I don't swear a lot, yeah, but I get really passionate, because I know what you've been through, and you are amazing. And if you've lost your kids, guess what? It's all coming back, okay? Don't you worry about that, all right? And maybe you need to go and squeeze your babies. Dogs as well, cats included. They're your babies. Maybe you live on your own, all right? But 99% of this battle was for you to get in the right state of mind so you could tackle this bastard or bastards, yeah? Sorry to say, but they make me fucking angry, yeah? Right? Because you'd have ended up handing yourself in. And you would have done because you'd end up being like a serial killer with these lot. Because there's a lot of people involved in this. There is. Right. I get a little bit ugh because I get... Mm, my angels will get in me, all right? So just bear with me, all right? I don't mean to be aggressive at all, Okay. You need to remember what an incredible bloody person you are. Because you are. Whatever these people said to you was only what they felt about themselves, all right? So what they did, they try and put all their crap on you so you feel as shit as them. Well, you're not. They're shit, you're not. And you know that. Because you become your own biggest fan. Because these people... They act like they weren't a fan of yours. Oh, but they were. Because they wanted to be you. They wanted to be exactly like you. Some of them, even if they were men and you as a woman, or even vice versa, they wanted to dress like you. And they probably are, if you haven't seen them. They're probably walking around even talking. Here he comes, look. Fat Ed. They've just had a really long walk, my dog, so I'm hoping they don't interfere. But if they do, it doesn't matter, right? And um, bear with it. I'm a dog lover, okay? Um, see, look, interruptions. Again, someone might interrupt you while you're trying to talk or something, yeah? Just ignore them, all right? You become your own biggest fan, all right? Yeah? Well, then these people are a fan of yours. Oh, they are. They're a secret fan of yours. They make out, oh, I can't stand you. Oh, yeah, they do, because they'd love to be, yeah? Because you're incredible, and they're not. And I don't mean to be horrible. <coughs> Pardon me, my angels are his confirmation, okay? I don't burp when I'm not on tarot. Angels come through. I'm feeling really like, feeling my angels at the minute, all right? You need to give up something, or I've just seen a lovely bird fly past. I've got white, um, I live by the sea, okay, in the new forest, and there's white birds circling outside. There's two white birds, okay? Might be love, two doves, but it's not, it's seagulls, but it might represent loves because I'm just looking what I'm feeling, okay? So you might have a new lover coming in, not this dick. These tarot readers telling you this is your kingdom spouse. No, they're not. No, they're not. Get back. They're demons, yeah? They're not. They're trying to stop you getting with your proper spouse that's coming in. These people have followed you in lifetimes, okay? They've tried to... I'm going cold. They tried to stop you on your journey for lifetimes. Well, this time you're going to beat them. This time you are going to stop this. This is it. This is the end now of the lifetimes that you've gone through. This is it. Don't give up now, all right? Okay? 
Give up something to Jesus. I'm really tingling. Give up something for Jesus and you will get your abundance quicker, okay? I found it really hard to give up weed, and I'm not going to lie. I've been smoking weed for nearly 30 odd years, all right? My son hates it, okay, because I've got eight grandchildren. I don't smoke around them, but they know when I'm when I was stoned. So anyway, I give up weed. Well, anyway, the other day, four days ago, I give up fags as well, cigarettes. Because what's the point? I feel brand new. I asked God and my angels to make it easier. I have not fancied a fag. Maybe once when I had a fight yesterday, I could have done with a fag. I didn't have one, and I didn't. I had a sausage roll instead. <laughs> Probably gonna eat and get really fat. I don't care, yeah? So give up an addiction, or maybe you did give up an addiction, or give up a habit, okay? It will help you step into your faith and your true purpose, and it will. Because since I've given up smoking within four days, my life has changed dramatically, okay? And it has. I've had money in my bank, I don't know where it's come from. 165 pounds, just appeared in my bank. Doesn't even say who it's from. So where the hell's that come from? God, you know it has. So give up something, right? I'm really cold, because I don't even know where that money come from, and I don't. I'm not even gonna go in the bank and ask, because it's mine and it's a gift. And I've got my dog's new coats and everything out of it. So, all right, give something up and you will step into your full purpose a lot quicker, okay? It's not gonna be hard if you ask for help, it won't be. I don't even get cravings for weed at all, because I ask not to have cravings, all right? So let me, ha, this always comes up for you. You are a really funny person. You got really good, oh, I'm so tingling today. My angels are really with me today. You are really funny, right? Even through this shit, you still found quite, I think you still found like your sense of humor probably got you through this, which is really good. It's really good that you got a sense of humor, you didn't lose it. I don't think you did. You might have done for a little while. You are hilarious, right? You're a master of hilarious. And I think you're getting your, um, yeah, and this person's never met anyone like you before. I hate to bring them up, but they come in the ring, they do, right? They've never met anything or anyone like you before. And I think they're probably, the thing they're thinking of is how funny you are. Because you did get on with these people at some time. And uh, you are hilarious, or you were hilarious. And I think that's what they think about your yeah, that's what they miss a little bit, is um, the fact that you're quite funny and quite hilarious. I don't think they realise how hilarious you was, probably because they were the karmic and they're an absolute ball. yeah? But they've never met anything or anyone like you. Yeah, I just got um, heard that other people, yeah, other people think you're hilarious as well. I think a lot of people where you're living are realising, oh, you're quite funny, you're quite funny, this one's quite funny, male or female. And uh, they've never met anyone like you before. And I think people find you quite, I think you brighten up people's days. Maybe you like a joke. Right, let's have a little shot. Oh, my finger's killing me, bear with me. Yeah, for you, things are going to start moving fast. If you give something up now, things are going to start moving fast, all right? And they will. Yeah, look, what did I say? My cards don't lie. Yeah, funny things, look. Funny things or things make you laugh. Silly little things. My cards don't lie, mate, I'm telling you. They do not lie. Funny little things. Maybe your angels have seen you and they're telling me that funny little things really like make you laugh now. Where before, I don't think things did make you laugh. But I think you like this person. I could see this person sort of being the joker and taking your limelight. And you probably just used to sit there and think, oh, you're enjoying yourself. This is what I'm getting my angels telling me. Like, you're, well, you're enjoying yourself. I don't feel very funny. And I imagine looking at you going, hi, yeah. Because they're master manipulators, these people. Oh, yeah, I want to dance, I want to dance. You probably sat there thinking, no, not really. Because the way you make me feel, I don't want to do anything. But don't worry about it, because this isn't you now. You find things really funny. And I think you're a funny little thing. I think you're a really funny little thing, yeah? And you are hilarious. Good. Because stay that way, all right? Because laughter gets you through this life. Even in this bad times, yeah, I've laughed my way through this. And I have. I've had to. I have to make jokes, but I've got a sick sense of humour anyway. But it's got me through. Right, you might notice on here I laugh, and I don't mean to, but it just helps me get through things, all right? So, yeah, you're a funny little thing, right? And I'm buzzing all over. So, um, yeah, and you've got over this, and you have. You have, or you are getting over this. Well, they ain't. It's a boo-hoo, yeah? Boo-hoo. Because they're getting a taste of their own medicine now, all right? That's what I'm hearing. They're getting a taste of their own medicine now. So they're all sitting there, boo -hoo! Victim mentality, trying to make everyone feel sorry for them because they know that you're funny, you're getting attention and they don't want the limelight on you because it's slowly, slowly coming off of them and coming onto you like a light, like, and the light's swallowing you around. 
and they're in the fucking darkness. Tough. Well, that's where they put themselves. You didn't put them there. They put themselves there, all right? You are getting over this, and they're not, because now they're going to feel as bad as what they made you feel, all right? I don't revel in it, but this is the way it is, all right? Because the universe kept you alive, all right, and kept you laughing, kept you just safe and in a little bubble of love and happiness, yeah? And that's why, all right? Because God's timing is impeccable, all right? And yeah, you didn't set yourself on fire to keep these people warm. You used to, but after a while, I think you didn't. I think these people fl were flitting in and out, in and out, in and out, coming and going. All I can see is someone like running around, yeah? Lost this, that, that. But these people do not keep still. This is why I get hyper on here, okay? Because they are very hyper people, yeah? They need to rest because they haven't rested. Because if these people stayed still for one minute, they'd have to have a look at themselves. So they can't. So they keep running around. So I'm getting, the last couple of days, I feel really like fidgety, fidgety, yeah? And that's what I feel like they're like, okay? Because you don't set yourself on fire anymore to keep these people warm and they don't know what to do. Because really, they are lost without you. And guess what? It's not so funny now, is it, Karmix? No, it's not. It's not, not funny at all. Right, don't put your eggs all in one basket. I told you this yesterday. You put your eggs in one basket. I'm going goosey again. Angels come through, yeah? I am, um, yeah, you put your, all your eggs in one basket, this person. You really let yourself down and let yourself, not down, sorry, let yourself go with this person because you idolised this person. I know you did. I can feel it. I can feel you did. And I think when you, I am so buzzing. I feel like you're a Virgo. I don't know why I've just got Virgo in my head. Oh, you're an earth sign. I feel you really did love this person and you really did put all your eggs in one basket with these and don't feel bad about that but just don't do it next time all right listen to me i like your mother or your big sister don't do it next time okay because people don't do this with you and it's about time you spread your eggs around a bit not spread your legs around a bit like these carmies right but spread your eggs around a bit don't put everything like in one place don't okay because it doesn't do you any favors all right so because now you have time for you now, these people are feeling very, very stuck. And I told you, I'll go goosey again. I keep saying I'm goosey because your angels, they tell me, all right? They are feeling very stuck. And they're feeling very sorry for themselves. And they are. And do you know why? Because you are taking time out for you. Jealous? Let's put my cards have just moved like that. Whew. Hold on. Right. Now, people know now that you're quite spiritual. Now, let's get this right. Religious people, all right, which I don't know if you are or not. You might have been in a cult before or something like that, but I don't think you're in that anymore, but you still believe in God, I, I feel. Religion is for people who don't want to go to hell, all right? Normally fake Christians, yeah. There's enough of them around. I think the karmics might be a bit, oh, Jesus, forgive me for how I have sinned. And then they're going around shagging from Monday to Thursday until they go back to church again. Fake Christians, that's what these people are, all right? Most people that are really just are, all right? But spirituality is for people that have already been to hell, like me. I'm religious while I believe in God, because I do, I've had God in my life since I was a child. I went to a convent, it was run by nuns, so I know a lot about religion. It's very abusive, I was abused when I was younger, and um, nuns were evil. They told me I wouldn't amount to anything, God will strike you down. And I tell you, I, they made me hate God at one point, I actually did. God forgive me for saying this, but he knows, he knows in my heart. I didn't leave him, but I did, because nuns and that will make you hate God, because they're all to do with being strict and all that, and that's not what it's like to be spiritual, right? So religion is people who don't want to go to hell, all right? Because they're scared, because they've never had a bad night time in their life. They're just bad to other people. But spirituality is for people that have already been to hell, like us, okay? We've been to hell and back again. And I think you've been to hell and back again a few times, okay? I feel like you're more spiritual, but these people think you're religious, yeah? Get it right, Karmix. These people are quite thick. They don't know a lot, to be honest with you, and they don't. Right, the cards slid across, okay? I'm going really cold. I got someone round me, and I don't know who it is. I'm going to find out in a minute because I can feel there's someone standing here. I can't see. I'm a feel. I'm a feel person. But on the camera, sometimes you'll see orbs because I can see them through um, electricity normally. But I can feel someone is standing here. Someone's here over me. I can, yeah, I can feel them here. So someone's here, all right? They might come through for you. Oh, they. Do. Yeah, my face is so dead. Someone's here. They are here, all right? Somebody here wants you to embrace, yeah. 
come through, yeah? Because somebody here wants you to embrace your peace and happiness. And I think they like seeing you that you are in peace now. Yeah, I'm really tingling. All right? Yeah, they know that you accept yourself for who you are now. This person who's here. This is your angel, all right? They really like the fact that you accept yourself for who you are. Because you're beautiful. You're a lovely soul. This was not done to you. This was done for you, what happened, all right? Embrace peace and happiness. I just got a feeling that someone, one of your ancestors might like yellow because I just heard that they like the flowers. So maybe that might resonate with you. Sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy. I don't sing because I can't sing, but I've got that song in my head. Maybe your granddad used to sing it to your dad. Yeah, never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. That's for one of you. And I feel such a loving feeling around me, I want to cry. Maybe someone used to sing that to you, or you were their little sunshine, yeah? This isn't, this is someone that's around me. Oh God, it's so cold here, it's so cold here, guys, honestly. It's a lovely feeling, but someone's here, and I don't know who it is, all right? If they come through and tell me, maybe they, you know, you might be feeling this feeling as well. I'm not like normal readers, guys, and I'm not, okay? I was sent on here by God, okay, because I didn't know I had this gift. I had a gift since I was a kid, but I got this gift when I died, when my ex killed me, and I came back, met Jesus in my bed, and now I've got this gift. So. Someone's here. They're pulling away a little bit now. I can feel it. Because you, ex yeah, they're pulling away now. So you'll probably know it's the reds of you. Sunshine, yellow, flowers. Maybe they like the sun. Maybe that's why it's a sunny day today. Maybe you've got yellow on today, okay? This is for you, all right? They love the fact that you've accepted yourself for who you are now. They're really proud of you. And they embrace, they love it that you're embracing happiness. Yeah, I'm going cold again, all right? Okay. You've been going through this four to five years. All months might be, oh, I'm going to Sorry I keep saying this, but I've got someone around me very strongly, okay? It's a lovely feeling. I feel like they're quite, quite big. I feel quite protected. I'm buzzing so much. Please come through. Yeah, maybe three years you've been going through. So the person I'm talking to with the yellow, you have been... No, I just heard this person's been gone three years. Three to five years. This person who's here has been gone three to five years. Yeah, did you see that then? The light changed. Right, that resonates. A hundred percent. They've been gone about three to five years. This person who's with me now, okay? Could be a grandparent, could be a partner, could be just a guardian angel, okay? But they're here. They like yellow. They like the flowers as well, okay? Maybe go and get some yellow flowers. Birds just gone past again. All right, maybe they have birds. Maybe they have birds in the garden. There's birds outside. Maybe they did have birds. Maybe they like kept pigeons or something or kept um, doves. It'll resonate with you. Maybe they're cockatiels, because cockatiels are yellow. Budgies, we could be here all day. Fucking <laughs> hell. Just name, just name a bird cow. You know what I mean? We'll just keep going. Right. Beauty and the Beast. You with this person was a lot like Beauty and the Beast. Don't worry, you with the beauty, they with the beast. But I feel like that's what you felt with them. Even though you love this person, I feel like you felt like... Um, I can see Beauty and the Beast dancing. And I think even though this person was a bit of a beast, I think you still love this person. And I think that's why you love this person. Because they were a little bit, I'm getting rough around the edges. I got this for you yesterday. And um, I'm buzzing. Yeah, I think even though this person, I feel this person thought that they weren't good enough for you. And I feel like you you wanted them. You didn't need them. I feel like you wanted them. Yeah, look, 100%. That's probably why I'm not putting the card down. And I feel like this person um, really thought that they weren't good enough for you. And, um, but I feel like you would have worked on this person and you really didn't care what they had. You just loved this person for who you thought they were, I just heard, not who they were. Sorry to say that, but who, they, who you thought they were. Because they was um, a master manipulator. Maybe their birthday or yours is April. Maybe April the 4th. April is uh, January, February, March, April. April, yeah, is a fourth month, okay? So number four might resonate resonate with you. It might be a door number. You could have four children. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. This karmic could have four children. Yeah, they could have four children. I just said with different fathers or different mothers. I can't breathe. <clears throat> this person don't like you talking. April. So it did about, maybe your name's April, maybe their name's April. Just go with it how you know. Or it might be March, but I'm feeling April. I'm not going to turn the card around. April number four. Four kids I've got. Might, you might have four kids. Just put it where it fits because I don't know all your stories. There's no possible way I could. All right? So, yeah, April 4th. Take a note of it, yeah? It might 
thing up late and you think, oh my God, yeah. Or go and ask them. Because with tarot, take notes, yeah, with tarot. Because sometimes things don't come till later. And then you'll go, oh my God, yeah. All right. So, even though my hands are, and I'm still going to shuffle, all right. Yeah, this came up yesterday. I've just split the cards, all right. Oh, God. These cards come up for you yesterday. This aging knot. And this is an older person. These people ain't young. These people are grandparents, yeah. This person's aging terrible. And I feel like you're getting better looking. Because God and the universe will reverse the spells that they've done on you. This is what I'm hearing. Because they put spells on you to make you uglier. And they wanted to make you look like crap. And uh, everything. You, maybe you did for a while. Maybe you did feel a bit rough. Maybe your skin was a bit rough when you were going through And you felt like utter shit. Yeah? You know, I just said. Because maybe you was dying without even realising it. Yeah? Well, this aging knock ain't pretty at the minute. Because guess what? Every little spell they put on you is now reversed. I think you returned some of these spells. Well, they're not aging very well. And they're not. Yeah, because you have got so much room to grow now, okay? So keep moving forward. Right, this card that I'm itching, they're falling in the hole they dug for you. And I believe they did dig a hole for you. I believe they dug a hole and put a bloody jar in it with your picture in it or something and, like, tried to bury or put you in the freezer because I'm feeling very cold. The light keeps changing. Do you see that? I think they tried to bury you. Like, not literally. Well, maybe literally. don't know. I don't know. You know. But they're falling in the hole. They dug for you. Good. And I don't mean to be horrible. Good. Because these people wanted you like that. Out your mind, I just said, right? And wanted you to probably put yourself in a hole. All right? But you deserve so much more loving than these people give you. Yes, you do. All right? So, don't worry. You're not going in the hole they dug for you. They are. They're falling in the hole that they dug for you. 100%. All right? Give it to Jesus. All right? Give it to the Lord. Because these people are nothing but cold. I'm getting cold now. Cold, calculated and cruel. They are beyond nasty. They did some disgusting things behind your back. And this little person or people were tricksters. And don't sit there wasting your time. I know it's easy. This is how I have to get over things, yeah? Sit there and think to yourself. These people did not love you, okay? Like you think they did. They did not, right? I'm sorry. This is how you need to get over it. These people don't even love themselves, right? They were a master manipulator. They was a trickster, right? So think of it like, the way I got over my ex was, they're an actor. You know when you fancy an actor and you think, oh, I really like, say George Clooney or something. Like, I don't really fancy George Clooney, but I've just given you as an example. And then you go to an event one night and you meet them and then you try and talk to them and they ignore you and they're a bit rude and you think, oh, I don't really like you anymore. You're not like George Clooney, that, like, just example. That was in that movie. That's all these people are. They're actors. They acted, and my ex used to say to me, are you in this film or what? Come on, you... And I used to laugh, ha oh, you're so funny. Oh, no, he really meant it, because he was acting, and I was in some kind of movie with him, because they live a fucking life within a movie. So this person that you was dealing with was just like an actor. So just think that to yourself. He's like an actor. I had a little bit of crush on him. I fell in love with him, found out what they like, and now I don't like them. Honestly, they're just cold cake with calculating and cruel. And they was really happy until you popped up. Because they were happy with the karmic to choose the karmic over you. And not being horrible, they didn't choose you, right? Like my ex didn't choose me. They like this trifling shit that they're with. Because you know why? They are filled with demons. And the demons revel in dirt. And revel... If you look at your partner and they're quite good looking. So I feel like some of them were. And you think, what the fuck were they doing with these people? Like, they would never have gone for that. Oh, they would, because they're not actually, they're being run by the devil. So they, the devil enjoys the dirt. He enjoys the grimy, shitty people they're with. Because the devil is punishing your partner by making them go with these people. Because what a show up. The devil's a fucking liar. And it is. And that's what your person is doing. They're all in dirt. They live in dirt. I can see their houses are dirty. They probably don't clean their own fucking doorstep, yeah? And the person they're with is trifling. And I think they're a bit smelly. I don't think your person's keeping very good body hy like hygiene in their body. Yeah, I just heard they miss your smell. I think you smell really nice, or you used to smell really nice, and they know your smell. And they know that this person there with doesn't smell like you. It's all to do with looks with this person. Bit of arm candy. So don't worry. Don't think, oh, well, they love me. No, they don't. They just love to have someone with them, but they soon threw you away like an old takeaway container where they got with this bloody idiot, yeah? If people leave you, darling... Let them go, all right? People want to go, open the fucking door and let them out. 
yeah? Let them go, because they're not for you, all right? Let them go, all right? I think you're glad now that you did let these people go, because they weren't for you, all right? There was a lesson, okay? Yeah. Well, they're really happy with the comment until you popped up, and now they think, oh, bit of eye candy. Oh, I'd like to go around and show this one off now. Well, they didn't want it when you was at your lowest. If someone ain't with you at your lowest, don't have them back at your, when you're at your highest, mate. No! They should have stayed with you. They should have helped you. But no, they'd rather go to scum that's cold, calculated. I'm getting annoyed now as my angel's jumping in. They're cold, calculated, and cruel. And this person is fucking evil. Evil! Relax, Kerry. Right. If you get into a new relationship, your new relationship needs a firm foundation, okay? I think you're getting rid of a lot of baggage, including this person or people or whatever, right? Yeah, your old baggage needs to be gone. So if you are thinking about getting a new person, wait for this cycle to be over. So they're completely gone because they might try and ruin it, okay? I'm not joking. They'll try and ruin it because things will finish as quickly as they start this person around because they're jealous of you, right? If you get with someone, keep it on the low. Don't put it on Facebook. Keep it on the hush. Have a little secret rendezvous, I just heard. You might be having a little secret rendezvous. Don't tell anybody. Don't let anyone piss on your party. Don't let these people know, okay? Yeah, I'm going really cold. I'm going really cold, okay? I am. Yeah, okay? So, give yourself to God and he will set you free. You gave yourself to God and he did set you free from these horrible people. And I believe that when you... Um, got yourself more into God, like gave yourself to God, I feel that you become more spiritual, yeah? And then that's what helps you start embracing the new you, all right? Yeah, and you had to defend yourself on your own. And you did. And it's really hard to defend yourself on your own. I've been on my own for years, yeah? I don't get lonely, but I was lonely at first because you put your self like a lot of yourself into this person yeah and you gave yourself to this person right thinking that they would defend you yeah because i don't think you realized what was going on but for this little bastard yeah i'm not joking this little bastard was the one who was actually the main ringleader and was telling all these people about you and i think this really hurt you and i do and i feel it really hurt you yeah their loss okay and it's horrible when people talk about you behind your back especially if it's someone who you trusted and you gave them your time and i feel like you really did put yourself into this person i really do i think you embraced them more than you embraced yourself and you had to defend yourself on your own don't you forget that don't you forget that okay i feel like these people ganged up on you and bullied you and i believe you're a strong little cookie from this all right yeah because you gave yourself to god and he set you free that's not nice, you have to defend yourself on your own. I'm getting really like that. I feel like I want to cuddle you. Because I feel like you really did want to cuddle sometimes. I feel like you probably sat there and said, I just want to cuddle. Like, probably felt like everyone else was all together and you was on your own. Yeah, but don't worry, because nothing was going on over there, mate. Nothing over there was going on, like, special at all. They're just arguing. They got habits, mate. All they was doing... I just got drawn to this. All they was doing, right, when they split up with you... Oh, because if they didn't... Um, weren't so into you. How comes then they were just watching you and following you everywhere? They were following you everywhere. They were spying on you. I just said they were going to your work. They were like besotted with you. They still are, but now they're obsessed now. They was besotted with you because they couldn't control you. This is what I'm hearing, because they couldn't control you. And all they do is build. Now this says best habit. I read cards different, okay? This is how I feel. I'm going to cover the best, because all they did was build a habit... They just got into having habits, yeah? Like drug habit, drink habit. They just got into bad habits every morning and that's all they did. Whilst they're watching you and they're drugging it up or drinking, that's all they were doing. But don't worry, whatever they were doing to you, God saw what you didn't see and now it's an eye for an eye. God's paying his debts about money now because some things you didn't see going on, but God did and so did your angels. That's why angel, my table's moving. I can feel rumbling under my table. That's why I think angels pulled you away from some situations with these people so you could build a better habit in the morning to get away from these people with habits. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, God saw everything. You might not know half of what went on, but God pays his debts without money. Don't worry about that. And you are being watched and followed. Yeah, now I don't like this card because it's quite sad, but... I know you kept a promise to this person, or they kept a promise to you. But you kept the promise, and all they did was keep their distance. 
And I think you waited for this person a long time to come back, thinking they're not going to leave me this long. They're going to come back, they're going to come back, because you thought this person was something that they weren't. And they're still following you, or, or keeping an eye. I think they're keeping an eye on you, because they don't believe that you are as you are, true as you are. They can't believe what they're seeing. I can see them watching you like, like angry, like, I don't fucking believe this. Like the way you've brought yourself up, the way God's lifted you up, and they didn't think that. I think you found this very, very empowering. I feel like a fucking warrior at the minute. Like you found, I think you got strength in your weakness. And this, yeah, I'm buzzing. This person pushed you to be so strong, but you got pissed off that this person kept a promise to you, and all they did was keep their distance, and you kept the promise. You'll know what this promise is, all right? Yeah, being watched and followed. But don't worry, you're not in danger. They're spying because they want to know what's going on. They can't believe that you have took time to move on and you have moved on and you're moving on up, mate. Yeah, and they left you quite unwell, and they did. Whilst they were spying on you, you was quite unwell. So they was also watching your downfall and watching you, watching the pit they put you in, that little hole that we had there, and then they watched you... Come out of it on your own whilst not even being there for you, whilst watching you. How nice. Remember that, guys, won't you? Yeah. And because they did that, guess what? Oh, it Jack the lad here, or Jack the girl here, thinks that they got away with it. But guess what? No, they haven't. No, they haven't got away with this. Because this was beyond cruel what they did to you, and I'm itching again. Yeah, because who you once was, yeah, was so hurt through this that I think, actually, you're not even that person anymore because you've turned into a right little warrior. You might have even had a near-death experience like me and you've awakened and you're just a completely different person. They probably wouldn't even know who you were now. They probably wouldn't. They're probably looking at you thinking, fucking hell, I don't even recognise this one. <laughs> Good. Shine bright, mate. Show them how it's done, yeah? Honestly. Yeah, because they spread terrible rumours about you and lies about you while they were watching you, yeah? And you were feeling like death, yeah? And they think they was getting away with it, yeah? While they're going around watching you and following you, yeah? They were spreading all rumours and lies about you. And all you were doing was walking around like a harmless little soul, trying to find your inner child to heal your head in. I'm going really cold, I'm feeling a bit tearful. To feel, heal your inner child. You were so vulnerable. I feel like you felt naked, yeah, on your own. Like, I feel like, because I'm very like this at the minute, I feel like you were very scared where you were. And you felt very alone and very, like, cold and frightened. And that's what I feel like. Like, when you was a child, I feel like it put you back into how you felt when you was a child. And they liked this. They did. Because this is how they felt like when they was a child. I'm getting angry again now. But don't worry, okay? Because while you were going around building yourself up because this person put you down, yeah? Harmless little soul that you are. And I know you're a harmless little soul. They were spreading terrible rumours about you. But you gave it to Jesus and God. And I feel you stepped into your full, full purpose and into your faith more. Which saved you from nearly killing these people and having to hand yourself in. Alright? So, don't want to get in this energy. You, my little friends, are beautiful. And you are not just looks, right? In here, in here, inside and out, right? Beauty is not just looks. Beauty can be how you are, how you treat people, how you present yourself to the world, yeah? Oh, I, love I love this fucking card on the back. Oh, I'm buzzing. You are beautiful, right? You are. I think some of you don't realise, go, oh, man, I'm not beautiful. Yes, you are. You are beautiful to God and to your angels and your ancestors, yeah? I am buzzing. You are beautiful. And I'm telling you, you're beautiful, yeah? You are man or woman. You are fucking amazing, all right, what you've been through. Give yourself a pat on the back, all right, because you've been through a lot. All these fuckers are skanks, yeah? And, oh, they know it. These bitches that are watching you, oh, they hate the fact that you're beautiful. They hate it. Look, I bet you've got loads of people around you watching you going, oh, look, look at her, the way she's dressed. Oh, look at him, the way she's dressed. Yeah, because they're fucking skanks. They're skanks. I think my dog just laughed then. I ain't even joking. Did you hear that? Seriously, sound like my dog just laughed. <laughs> they are skanks. That's it. Don't lower yourself to even bother thinking about these people because you are beautiful and they know it. 
male or female. You are beautiful. See your little heart a little bit empty. It's going to fill up soon with pure love, okay? You will get your heart mended again. I, I know some of you are a little bit broken hearted, but your heart ain't broken. It's just a little bit empty. It just feels like there's like missing. There's nothing missing. These people need to go missing, I just said. Or maybe some of these might be going missing. Or they might have gone missing. Because I said that for a reason. November, December. This came up for you yesterday and the day before. November, December. Now, this could be when you found out something, or it could be a special date for you. The 11th or 12th might be a number that resonates with you, okay? <clears throat> on burping. This is confirmation. Someone here, you might be on birthday, you might be a Capricorn. <clears throat> Sorry, not Capricorn. Got that wrong, didn't I? Sagittarius is December. All right? This date resonates with you, you'll know what. Maybe what I just said will resonate with you on this month or this date. Maybe you found out on this date that every cloud has a silver lining. Because every cloud has got a silver lining. And it has. And I think you realise that now. Alright? Go out and treat yourself if you can. I know some of us ain't got a lot of money. I know like, I look like I've got a lot of money. I ain't everything in here is second hand, mate. I live in thrift shops and charity shops. That only thing new in here, and it ain't even new, is 10 years old, is my sofa. And my ex, my nice ex, before this other one, my ex paid off for this sofa, and so did I, because I was working at the time. Nothing. These were free. This is free. That's free. Everything in my house is was free, or from jumble sales, whatever. So don't worry about not having money or whatever. Listen, you'll be fine, okay? Every cloud has a silver lining, all right? Right, you need to go and treat yourself. You do. Even just to buy a shirt or just something for you, not for the kids, not for the cat, not for the dog, for you. Just to make you feel better. Maybe you've been doing that lately. Maybe you have been buying yourself and you're not feeling so guilty about it now. Don't feel guilty about it. Yeah, because you're being more open now and you're being a bit more happy and you're expressing yourself more. And I feel now you were scared to be vulnerable. Yeah, I'm tingling. You were very scared to be vulnerable at one point. And I feel like now you were like... Feeling a little bit like, I don't mind being a bit vulnerable, because you feel safe in the arms of God, and you do. And you know you've got your angels around you. I am absolutely buzzing like somebody's cuddling me like this. Yeah? You are safe. You are, that's what I'm getting. You are safe, all right? Whoever you are watching, look, the light's changing again. You are safe, okay? Someone's holding you, like God, or your, look at the light. You are safe, all right? That's all I need to keep telling you. If you're worried that you're not safe, you're safe, mate, Okay? Oh, I feel like cuddling you so bad. I'm going to give you a squeeze. I'll give you a virtual hug, okay? Seriously. Listen, you're all right, okay? Feel vulnerable. It's okay. Not with these people, but I feel you feel a little bit more vulnerable and you're a bit more open now. You don't mind talking to people about what's happened. And I feel like you're a happy little soul. Maybe you're going around making people feel happy and people love your smile. And yeah, and you're being more expressive now about yourself. Maybe you're expressing yourself how you dress and that. Good. Carry on. I've got something in here. I've got lights going right there. So, yeah, you will you will resonate. I'm feeling like, yeah, you are getting so confident now. You are. You are very, very confident. And confidence is key, okay? You must stay confident no matter what, all right? Because your confidence is what keeps you up, keeps you getting out, all right? Even if you don't feel comfortable, right? Com but comfortable. Maybe you don't feel comfortable. Maybe you don't feel comfortable, right? Maybe you need to have a little change around in your house or wear more comfortable clothes. I don't know where that comes from. Comfortable came out. So your angel's probably telling me you don't always feel comfortable, yeah? Listen, you're confident. So feel comfortable that you're confident, okay? Don't underestimate yourself. You're a very strong person and you are. You are a warrior. Up there, you would run your own fucking empire, all right? Down here, people think, oh, you might live on a council or you ain't got much. Because God puts you in places like this, so you don't fit in. So then when you come out and you're awakened, everyone notices you, all right? Don't worry, your confidence is key. Keep being vulnerable. Keep being happy. Just keep being you. Keep being you, all right? Because guess what? The real story ain't been told. This come up for you yesterday as well. And it hasn't been told at all. I think there's a lot of things that this person or people haven't said about what you've been through. Oh, it is coming out. Oh, yes, it is. Maybe you haven't told the real story. Maybe you're still holding things back that you can't believe what happened. 
and the real story's not been told at all. Maybe you're a bit embarrassed to tell the story, but don't be. Don't be embarrassed. I out myself on here all the time, mate. I don't lie about anything. My ex told people I was a prostitute. Oh, is this that? No, I used to be an escort. Get it right, love. I weren't a prostitute. I was an escort. I had a kid at 15. I had no food. I was in the bad wives. There's a lot about me, yeah, that I've had a terrible life, yeah. But I think you're the same. People, like, don't know the real thing about you. And I think maybe oh, someone, someone's in here, yeah, because I tell people about me. I used to be a druggie. I used to be a karmic. Years ago, I did used to be a comic. I was fucking awful. And I was uh, quite vile sometimes. And I had to change. And everyone can change. That's why I'm on here. Because you can change. Yeah, you can change. Anybody can change if you want to. I don't believe, like, no one can change. If you want to change, you can change. But the real story hasn't been told. And I think people are lying about you. Out yourself. Don't give a shit what you've done in your past. Listen, everyone's had a past, but some people decide to keep it more covered than other people. Well, I don't. When I live now, people say, oh, you're a prostitute. I go, no, I used to be an escort, and I was a fucking high-class escort, so I didn't look like this. I'll show you some pictures. Then. I had long hair, boobs out here, mate. I was gorgeous. And I worked in Mayfair in London, yeah? And I did earn some money, but I spent it all. Because you will. When you work for the devil, the devil gets rid of your money, yeah? I'll tell you, but it's videos on my thing that tell you about me and my my life I've had a terrible life but listen it made me who I am so you make sure you have the real story to be told about you don't let these people taint you taint what you did or what tell them what you did but tell them your side of it not theirs someone needed to hear that all right <laughs> yeah Oh, I love my cards. Because karmics, yeah, are going around slagging you off, telling people all your secrets, yeah, when they're just as fucking bad, yeah, as what you did, but if not worse. Oh, but well, see you, karmics, you need to wind your necks in, mate. Because they're going around gossiping, bad-mouthing you, yeah, grassing up things they know about you, and they're actually more trifling than what you was. Tell people. Tell people what you were like. Because you know what? God's fixed your broken heart. So, who cares? Listen, God puts you in places, right? And puts you in situations. So, you learn about life. So, when you get to this point that we're at now, if you hadn't been a bad person, or you hadn't been in a gang, or you hadn't, whatever, I'm just saying examples, or you hadn't been an escort, or whatever you did, or you maybe used to be a bit of a thief, maybe a bit naughty, yeah? What, what do you mean God did? He put you in them places. So when you get to this point, you can tell people about your life experiences, and you can help people. You're supposed to sin when you was there before, but you're supposed to wake up. As long as you wake up and know what you did wrong, and then ask for forgiveness and really mean it, that's why we've all had a life. These karmics think, oh, all these, we're all like fairies and fluffy. No! Up there, we're slaying people, mate. We own our own empire up there, mate. You signed up for this. You probably signed up for everything, God just stood. So that's why you had a rough life, okay? Don't worry about it. Be proud of who you were. Major who you are today. It's the karmics. Why don't you fucking next in, yeah? Because there's a lot of secrets about you that you don't tell anybody about, but you don't mind out in my collective, do ya? Who cares? Everyone's got a past. I've probably got a worse past than anybody, mate, and I couldn't give a shit. So, next card, get out of your own way. This will make you get out of your own way, and it will. Because God will help you, because God has helped you, and he is helping you still, okay? Get out of your own way. Why about people think? Who gives a shit what people think? Tell them, I'm not really in the mood to part with your shit, mate. I'm not really in the mood to settle for anything less, and you're not. Just ignore them. Just simply not... Just choose not to listen to this stupid gossip that's going around, okay? Because these people are still gossiping because they're full of regret and shame. So they've got to make you feel like you're shameful and you're full of regret. No, then don't let them put their feelings onto you, okay? Someone's got a pet in heaven that's sitting around you now. Or you might have just lost a pet. You've got a pet around you now. Yeah, that's watching out for you. Maybe a pet from heaven is guarding you because I just felt it as well, you've got a pet round you. Maybe you've seen a pet, because I saw a dog walk in front of me last night out here and I didn't know whose dog it was. So this might be your dog, but you've got a pet around you from heaven that you lost, it's round you all the time, okay? Brown and white, I just saw brown and white. Like Springer Spaniel, Cocker Spaniel, like dog. Might resonate with you, okay? Celebrate good times now, guys, come on. Celebrate good times, all right? I'm not gonna sing it. Because I think you've had enough shit of this person who's a mum or dad or brother or sister. Honestly, you just need to have fun now, guys, all right? Forget these idiots. 
Start having fun, all right? Let your hair down. I know you might not like partying, but there's other things you like doing. Maybe you want to go hiking. Maybe you want to go riding with the kids or just do stuff you like doing, all right? Work on your self-confidence and keep smiling, will ya? Because that smile looks good on you. I'm tingling. And it does. Go out and have some fun, all right? Try and have some fun, all right? You are safe to have fun, okay? Yeah, because you need to go out and start loving broken people. You are on a mission here, okay? You need to help people. And if you stay in, you ain't gonna find these broken people. And I don't mean broken people to get relationships with. Broken people need you. They need you. Fuck the haters. You're not here for haters. You're here to help broken people, all right? You got an alky man or woman. Look, surround you with borderline bipolar. <laughs> Want you to explain if they come back. Explain what? What do you need to explain? I think you karmics need to explain yourself, didn't you? You don't have to explain yourself to anyone. Listen, you don't have to explain yourself because not all people are against you and they're not. And if these people make out that they are, no, they're not. Not all people are against you and they're not, okay? You don't need to explain yourself to anybody, okay? Right, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm on 55... 42 okay guys cool that went quick didn't it sorry if it's long you probably didn't even watch it all but it's a one more card because my dogs are waiting now they're ready for lunch it's gonna be nearly lunch time you hungry boy yeah time for dinner yeah i love you so much look at this fathead i love him took us a long time to get to know each other me and karma because he was a lot of hard work but i absolutely adore him now we know each other so well don't we he's a good boy don't knock the flowers over there He's lovely, isn't he? One minute, I'll make you some dinner. Right, so we're going to wrap it up, aren't we? Right, October the 10th could be a date for you. <gasps> Hang on, babe. It's all right, you can jump up. I'm just going to move the flowers. It's all right, I didn't mean to scare you. October the 10th. You might get an interruption. Someone might come around and start jumping around, making you feel happy. Or maybe your pet's doing this now. I love this boy. Honestly, God sent me this dog. He did. I asked for a big brown dog, yeah, and then my friend gifted me this little fucker. And that's why I called him Karma, because he's my good karma. Say hi, Karma. Say hi. Well, I've got to jump you down for one minute. One minute, and I'll give you some dinner. Sit down. Sit. We'll have some dinner. Sit down. No, sit. Right, let me wrap this up for a minute. Sit down. Oh, Gypsy's here as well. Right, October the 10th might resonate with you, okay? Or I think your birthday might be September the 9th, yeah? September the 9th. This is going to resonate with you, okay? September the 9th. Do you know what's funny? Karma's birthday is September the 9th. So you might have that. And my birthday is September the 10th. So you might resonate with September the 9th. Maybe you're Virgo or someone you was dealing with with September the 9th. Maybe you live at number nine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting really strong September. Maybe you. September the 9th. That's funny. And that's your birthday, isn't it? Karma, September the 9th. Here she comes. Chipolata. Right. So, October the 10th. Sorry about the interruption, but I can't ignore my dogs because I love them. Right. Yeah, they're still with them. They are. They're still with them. If they come back and tell you they're not with them, they're a liar. They're still with them. They're still with them. It ain't written in... Yeah, look, confirmation. Rawr. They are still with them, okay? It's not written in stone, yeah? People probably don't realise. They probably ain't told you. They probably kept them a secret like you. They are still with them. They're still with the karmic. Your karmic is still with the karmic. And they're going to lie and say, oh, it's not written in stone, though. No. Yeah, they probably want to see if you'll get back with them, I just heard. So they can not dump the karmic until they know that you're going to like them or get back with them. Because that's what these people are like. So just remember, these people are still with them. They are. If they say they're not, they're lying. Yeah, and they're not sorry. The past person is not sorry. Sorry to end it like this, but this is how I guided to tell you. The past person is not sorry. They made the wrong choice, all right? And they don't like the fact... I'm going to leave it on this, yeah? All right? Because this is what I've been told to leave it on this. They made the wrong choice, okay? And the past person... The past person is not sorry because they're gutted that they chose the wrong person. But guess why they want to get back with you or they want to come back? The only reason they want to come back is because they know God's sending you a new soul tribe and they don't want you to move forward. And they know how attractive you are, yeah? And how many new friends you're going to get. And they know that you're a good person. They know that you're a really lovely person because that's why they stopped you being a good person because they didn't want you to shine, okay? So, yeah, you've got a new soul tribe coming in. You've got new friends coming in. You might even have a new partner coming in, all right? 
this person didn't choose you. I'm not being horrible. They didn't. They made the wrong choice. So don't let them come back just because they made the wrong choice. Get the fuck off. Honestly, I'll tell you what you need to do. Run. If these people try to come back to you, you're mitching. Run, okay? Because all these people are is in it for the thrill. They like the hunt. They're like a predator, yeah? They get bored with one, coming back with to the other one. They'll come back, want sex with you, steal your energy, and then they'll fucking run off back, yeah? Go back, chase the other person. It'll be a thrill for them doing that again. Yeah, look, even the dogs are running around. Look, it's like a hunt. They enjoy it. They like the making up, yeah? To People to them are just pussies or dicks. That's it, all right? That's all they want. Run. Run from these people, yeah? Because they're in it to stop you moving on. Where's that card? Yeah, because they made the wrong choice, okay? But they're still with this person, okay? And remember, not everyone is against you, and they are not, okay? Don't walk around thinking like everybody's against me, blah, blah, blah. These fuckers have got bipolar. They are off their nuts, mate. There's something badly wrong with this alcoholic man or woman. They are not the full ticket, all right? You are gorgeous. Everything's backfired because they put a spell on you. And all the spell work's gone back because now they feel empty inside. And guess what, you? I'm going to wrap this up. Be your own best friend. You don't need friends. You are your best friend. Talk to your higher self, okay? And guys... I love you so much, and I do, all right? I love you, I'm tingling all over. Your angels love you as well. You are not alone, and you're not, and you are doing marvellous, and I'm so proud of you. I'm tingling all over, okay? You are doing brilliant, yeah? I love you, love you, love you. Be strong, karma is here, your life is gonna be beautiful, and theirs isn't, I'm afraid. Well, that's the choice they made, all right? Have a good day, whatever you're doing. Love yourself and know that you are important, right? And you're amazing. You're amazing. Do you know how much work you've done? And you did this all on your own. I love you and I do. Be strong, all right? If you don't mind liking my channel and subscribing. And if you have subscribed, I've got three new subscribers. Thank you. I so want to build my channel just so I can reach people. It's making me more confident doing this because I couldn't even speak a couple of years ago. Well, I could speak, but I just couldn't get my words out. I didn't know how to speak because I was manipulated so bad. This channel's for us, okay? Things are going to get better soon. Then I can start uplifting you. We can start elevating together, right? Because we're in this together, and we are, all right? There's a lot of us going through this, right? You're not alone, okay? You're never alone, all right? I love you. And I do. And thanks so much for your support. It means the world to me, guys, and it does, all right? Adios. Bye.